Brookside Antiques here. Today we have this 1936 Corona Standard Vintage Portable Typewriter. I'm going to show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. The margins are located behind the carriage. And you just push them like that and like that. Before loading the page, I'm going to lift this backwards so it doesn't interfere with feeding. It just sits right on top like that. Once you hear the bell, you're at the end of the margin. You hit this line space, gets you back to the beginning and skips one or two spaces. Right now we have it on single, but if you want double, you just flip this switch forward and it'll skip two when you hit that line space. We're gonna keep it on single for now. As you can see, all the keys tight nice and none of them skip or stick. I'll type a sentence on the next line. This is probably my favorite machine. I just really love the look of it. I love the glossy black paint and the way it types just feels super classic. Very popular model. Also can, uh, called the flat top Corona. To pull the page out easy, you just flip this switch forward on the right side by the knob there. And it unlocks the rollers underneath the platen, allowing you to pull the page out easy or load thicker paper like carbon copy or cardstock. Make sure you flip that back before you load the next page or else it won't load correctly. Got a shift on each side and a shift lock on the left. To clear that, you just hit the shift button again. Backspace on the right side here. That works good. This is your color selector switch. Right now it's on the bottom section which prints the top portion of the ribbon. If you flip it all the way up to the red dot, it'll print the bottom portion of the ribbon, which sometimes can be red. A dual colored ribbon will be black on top and red on the bottom. Right now we have a solid black ribbon, so we're just gonna keep that all the way down to the black portion. Open the hood, all the brand new ribbon is located on the left. So it pulls to the right clockwise. And if you want to switch that direction, you just flip that switch up on the left there. And we'll start pulling to the left. That works good. This is your touch control right here. The higher up you go on that, the more tension there is when you hit the keys. So more advanced typers would like that higher tension. It responds faster. You just have to hit the keys a little harder. On this side, we have the carriage release on each side has one that works good and if you pull the knob out it'll disable the spacing so you can get to an exact spot on the page that works good when you push it in each one of those clicks is one space and the margin release is the last function when you get to the end of the margin it'll lock the key so you can't type past it and if you want to finish that word at the end you just hit the margin release and it'll allow you to do that that works good. Now available on eBay or Etsy. Search Brooksaw Antiques.